my trip, um, I find it's easier to lay it out in stages depending on what the activity is. So, I've got my big backpack, it's about 50 litres. It's got room to carry extra stuff because we have to take all our cooking gear as well as my own gear. It's got those good straps and a good waistband so that it won't rub. If it rains, I have a cover that can go over it. Not necessary, but used to. I might need to dry off up there. My hiking shoes have socks that come above the level of the shoe, so I'm not going to get blisters. It's a big problem, any kind of rubbing or chafing. A hat. I know we're hiking in the forest, but there's plenty of room for sun to get through. And if it rains, a poncho or a rain jacket. I'm going to be tough and sleep on the ground, but I am going to take my little sleeping bag just to keep insects off. And I'll be wearing dry fit and spandex, which can get wet and smelly and it can dry out again. Every trip needs sunscreen, so I hope you've all got it packed. And a small pile of toiletries. I forgot my hairbrush. I don't think I'm going to worry about it. I'm going to have hat here anyway. One thing I do like when I crawl into my tent at night is some dry clean clothes to put on just to sleep in. Chances are you've gotten wet and sweaty on the way up, so keep them dry in a Ziploc bag. And there's nothing like taking your shoes off at the top and resting your feet. We're going to move when we come down from the mountain. I'm going to leave my bag with a lot of this gear and it'll go on the truck. It'll still come with us, but I don't have to carry it now. We're going to get on our bikes. So I'm going to need my backpack, a little one for the bike, and my water bladder will it come out of this bag as well. Now it can go in here. You don't need gloves, but I find them handy. Handy. Spare tire. Two is good. I'll go and buy another one. Glasses aren't just for sun, it's for stones flicking up and for things that might get into your eyes. So they're very useful. And if you are wearing glasses, something to attach them in case they fall off. No cycle without a helmet. What am I going to wear? I might take a clean shirt, nice and bright, so that I'm visible to the traffic. And I've got my pants that I've been hiking in. And I've got my cycle shoes. That would be useful. And maybe if it rains. The rest I can get when I get to camp. Next day we're rafting. I'll need my water. Can you use the same pants? and a quick dry shirt. Or maybe I'll just use that one again. Every day. And I don't want to cut my feet. Not so much worried about the rain today. Great for rafting. Then we cycle again. I'm good. When we finally get there, it's time to come home. And there's nothing better than stopping at Lamont, having a nice shower, washing away all the sweat, putting these nasty shorts into a bag, because I've worn them for four days, and drying off with one dry towel, 
some dry clothes, and maybe a jumper for the trip home. It's going to stay in my bus bag. This could be the same bag that I take with me on the way up. I think I'm set. Sungo Kempar is such an awesome trip. So good on going for another time. Um, and if you pack correctly, you'll have no problems at all. It's worthwhile taking a few minutes to make sure you get it right. And please don't overdo it. And may the odds be ever in our favour. <laughs>